It's so far away. What's so far away? It, I don't know how to tell you this, okay? Let's just start it off this way. You're running in a race, okay? Why are you running in this race? There's no reason to that. But you've always been running since you were born. Let's just say you're not always running, but you've always been in the race. And your race has barely started. At least mine has barely started. You know, this race, it's not count as um, how old you are. Because if you're 60 years old, but you have achieved almost nothing of what you want, your race has barely started. Okay, I'm talking about a race of life. Now you guys heard this so many times other places but what i'm talking about today is trying to put a concept in you of what my imagination is you're thinking too small about a race okay you're not racing in life by yourself you're you're not supposed to narrow down your race to yourself okay many people does talk about how you should focus on yourself in life which is true but you have to be aware of the people you're running with this race has no finish line and you're running with everyone and you could never pull ahead because this race is not even count by percentage it's just count by your achievements you know like let's just say um you're you're a programmer no no you're uh you're a businessman you're competing with a uh, athlete for, and this athlete has achieved a self-breaking record of getting himself to olympics and for him that is a huge achievement you see so he has moved a huge part of this race already but for an athlete you're never done because you always have to improve your personal skills and let's point it back to the businessman which he have just struggled to open up this company that he just wanted to start who do you think is ahead of the race the guy that got to the olympics or the guy who have just opened up the company you know it's really hard to imagine who's in front of the race at this point even though the guy has just started the company because you have no idea how much he will progress after the company he, had, he could sprint so much further ahead in progress compared to the athlete this race is huge and everybody's running and every time you sleep is when you stop and when you stop doesn't mean anybody else are stopping people like Kobe Bryant would pull an old nighter at the court shooting hoops just to be number one my point is today is that like myself in life if i'm running the race of education there is going to be a finish line but i've just switched lanes i'm now running a bigger race a bigger race named society and i am just running with everyone People may think that you're young and stuff like that, but no, I'm running a race with everyone. Even if this guy is 24 years old and he's about my progress in life, it doesn't matter. We're both running on the same race and he can still pull ahead, not because he's older, but get, because he runs faster. The progress in life that he has achieved for himself made him pull ahead in this race it is just all about what your final goal is if your goal is to become somebody that is financially free but you failed your business then you're not stopping you're still running you're just gaining experience but if you stop there it means that you stop running in that race and if you just give it a moment whether you're bathing whatever the time is just give it a moment think about it have you achieved a lot of things have you achieved enough things in life? The answer is no. And you're not moving. Don't expect anybody else 
not to either. If you think your friends are not moving, that's where you're wrong. Because whatever they're doing aggressively is what they're aiming for. And in life, they might be moving ahead of you. Maybe you're an employee, but in this race, you are running ahead of somebody that is an entrepreneur because that entrepreneur have not reached his final goal, but then you have reached the maximum promotion in your company. You know, then that guy actually pulls ahead of that entrepreneur which have not achieved his life goals yet. Even though he might be earning more than a worker. And let me tell you, it's truly scary. It's truly scary to know that one by one, when you stop running, there'll be a lot of people just pulling ahead of you. Pulling ahead, just running far ahead of you. It's very scary. So you better take your advantages now and start running. Anyway, that's all from me today. See you guys next time. Bye.